What's up, everybody? I'm here with Gracie, and we're here to talk about Save Face. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. So the most asked question that we got on Instagram about this video was, what was it like working with Aaron Gillespie? Pretty big moves. Pretty good guy. I enjoyed it, personally. Same, dude. He's one of my uh, musical heroes, and it was a... Uh... It was a big check off the bucket list for me. So it was cool to see you guys working with Aaron. Um, it seems like an endorsement from him, just to be for working sure. with you guys and stuff. And it's cool to see um, a smaller band like get the recognition um, that you guys deserve. Um, meaning, like he's willing to work with you guys, even though you guys haven't really put out that much before that. So. Right, it's sure. cool yeah, to I, tell my friends too. I'm like, oh, I'm, sh I'm working with these guys, and they just shot a video and featuring Aaron, like from Under Oath. Like everybody knows who that is yeah. if you listen to to this music. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely like a legend in the like Warp Tour, like metalcore, like emo, screamo scene. So it's really cool, you know. It's like literally been listening to his band since like high school or whatever. So I don't know. They were just like always like iconic so it was just awesome yeah it's and it's cool that like we are a completely unsigned band and we just reached out to him like through his manager and he connected us with him and then he's like sure like to like know that like we, he thought it was like worth his time just like it's really cool and he's willing to be in the video so like it worked out better than we ever thought and it was awesome that he wrote his own part you know everything so he just like I don't know. That's cool. I it was think. over the top. Yeah, with like yeah. anything he could have done. Do you so think there would great. he would even have it like another way from like him writing his own lyrics? Do you think anybody would even want to hop on a song and sing anybody so, else's good question like, lyrics? I'm sure it changes person to person. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he probably does that more often than not to write his own part. Oh, I gotcha. Um, it was good too. Yeah, yeah we just gave him free reign and told him uh, what the song was about. And, uh, you know, the ideology of it, everything. And, you know, he, he fucking delivered, man. Um, he got it back to us within it was, 16 hours. Yeah, it like, wasn't very long from when we, like, confirmed it was happening to when he finished it. It was, like... Yeah. Did like, you guys we confirmed send... it, and the next day... He, he, was... sent it, he sent it back to us as I was leaving work. And you already had all your vocals and everything done besides yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So he had the lyrics, the vocals, and a spot for him just to Yeah, fill a, a spot cut out with no vocals in it for him to just slide on it. No vocals or lyrics. Yeah. So. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, we kind of landed on him for the part because, because of what the song was about. Like, just being fans of some of his solo work. And some of his stuff with the almost, um, he'd done a couple like podcasts and interviews and talked about his most recent works and it kind of aligned itself with the subject matter of the song and with the style that the music was, um, it just kind of seemed like it would be a great fit and obviously I think it turned out perfectly. Yeah. All right. For me, it's like, I, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys feel the same way, but I have under own CDs in my room from 10 plus years ago, and it's like, who would have ever thought? Dude, I bought... That is crazy. Just, I bought... It's <laughs> fucking nuts. I bought To Find the Great Line four times, because my dog at the time ate three of them. <laughs> yeah. There you go. He likes them too. <laughs> yeah. I suppose. Fan. Yeah. yeah. It's just cool. It's like one of those things that, in theory, will like last forever. Yeah. Like, I go back and listen to that song just because I like listening to it. And then the, the part comes up and it's like, oh my god. Like, fucking. Yeah. Right. And it's super catchy and it rips, too. Yeah. Like, and it can't be eaten thing. by a dog. So it I can't don't be have eaten to by a dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's there forever. Yeah, that was, well, that was really it, so. <laughs> It needs a physical copy. I, th I think the riff that, I like physical copies. The riff that he sings over, too, is like... One of my favorite riffs off this EP, just, it's like simple, but it's like not simple and it just kind of works. It's like very cohesive, but like kind of trippy at the same time. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's got that super like descending feel, but then like the time signature makes it like super proggy because it's like in seven. Yeah. So and it like it goes between two variations of like the notes or the riff, or whatever, just like back and forth. So mm-hmm. it's fun. It's it's fun to play. That's for damn sure. That one might be my second favorite song on the EP. Um, what are you guys' favorite songs and music videos too? Each. My favorite is State Face for both the song and the video. Um, I would second that. The song, cause like, part of it's aren't parts of it aren't like physically painful to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also it allowed a different sort of like creativity within like the music, where we scaled it back a little bit and made it heavier and like the emotional feel of it rather than the actual like tone. It seems like a more mature song than the other ones for some reason to me. Sure. I, I could see that. Well, yeah, it doesn't have like the chaotic vibe of the le- the rest of the right. EP. More or of what's to come. <laughs> True. EP3 on the rise. <laughs> yeah, actually. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's going to come out. It swings back pretty hard. <laughs> um... There's just a lot of, it's a longer song, there's more atmosphere, there's more breathing room, right? Yeah. 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 Like, and that's, that's something that we, I feel like we've all wanted to do. Yeah. You know, no matter what um, project it was or band it was, like, that's all something that we, we all really aspire to do is to have these differentials in what we do sonically and... You know, we have multiple songs that are hard hitting or fast, chaotic, and this EP just blends out at the end with this longer, more melodic sounding song. So, yeah. yeah. Also, it's just like my, I think my favorite like time spent shoot shooting a music video. Yeah. During that time, like. We're all hanging out. Yeah, it seemed really like easy. Everyone was just like in a great mood. It was a Saturday night. We're, it was like nice outside. Everyone. Yeah. They yeah, even got like seven yeah. pizzas. Yeah. Everyone's significant <laughs> others are like hanging out while we were shooting the video too. And then when we were all done, we just like sat around the fire for a couple hours. And just like. Well, yeah. I had to go to work. David had to go to work. <laughs> everyone else just hung out. It was It was a good time. But that was a good night. Just yeah, no, it was, a, it was a really cool house. video. I liked that it was cool because it was a performance video, but it was all solo, so it was a different vibe, and it was fun. It was like cool to do the black and white, very like emotional and like timeless feel, and but like also like honestly because we had to figure out how to incorporate Aaron into the actual video and. Thank you, Aaron, also for being willing to actually be in the video and do your part. But we needed something that would, like, not make it look super obvious that, you know, he was at his house filming it and we were fucking in Wisconsin, you know, in Trevor's garage in New Berlin. So we decided to do, like, black, you know, black backdrop, you know, just wear black, you know, like, solo into it. So, like, he could film his part and do something similar that we could, like, incorporate. So, like, that's how the whole, like... Aaron's part came to like look how it did. And then actually like Brock putting him over us because we wanted Aaron in the video as much as possible. Um, was a way to have like us in it for our shots and then Aaron at the same time and it like, you know, really incorporated his face into over everything. So it, it made it so like we didn't have to cut back and forth between Aaron's scenes and us. And so Which yeah. which works with the song because it's not like it's like us and then like Aaron. It's like it's, it's you know, it's like a collab. Yeah, it makes yeah, it more like right. a yeah. thing. It's like it's like from like a ghost from the past or something that just like yeah comes, comes in and, and does the yeah. yeah and that was uh this guy's idea so but you executed it so I mean it yeah. could be my idea but also you yeah blended the two 
together Seems incredibly so. well. Well, I appreciate that. I feel like... Um, Which I know was a, a bit of a struggle for <laughs> Yeah, because... Like, you were throwing some ideas back, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> if you can't, that's fine, but, mm-hmm. like, try to gut it out for us. Initially, we weren't going to shoot with the same background that we ended up shooting with. Mm-hmm. We were going to try to shoot with uh, just a black, like, canvas. That didn't work out. If we were to shoot with that, I think I would have been able to switch between the shots of you guys and him a little more seamlessly because it would have just been a black void. Mm-hmm. But we got the trash bag kind of look. Yeah, like so that. it had like that like shimmer or like... Yeah. Which I think looked cool. It, yeah. Yeah. it, it was yeah. uh, gardening plastic from Home mm. Depot. I got some in my trunk right Two now. Two big old sheets <laughs> of gardening plastic. But yeah, as, as far as aesthetics, I think that ended up looking possibly even a little better. Yeah, I agree too. It, it, it gave more like, texture to the background yeah. and then with the black and white it like But also like, also with Aaron like whatever effect that was of him coming in, he's almost kind of like shiny. Mm-hmm. You know, the it's way like that the background of? was yeah. like, you know, it just it just plays off of itself. Apparition. It's a little yes. or a wizard. A wizard, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a wizard. You're a wizard Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Aaron, Aaron yeah. shot. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was good. What is He's he casting saying? a spell or something. I don't know. It was a feeling I had. It was good. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah, very good. Shout out, Aaron. Yeah. I feel like that's a... Shout out, Aaron. Thanks, boss. Fucking legend. Yeah. Fucking legend. Yeah, for real. But, yeah, it's a cool, like, you know, ending to the whole, like you know, EP, and, like, this EP is, like, it goes through, like, a lot of ups and downs. It probably was, like, our most, through the, like, the span of writing all these songs, because actually, like, we wrote, like, fucking, when we, before we even, like, released, like, music, we wrote, like, 20 songs. So these were, like, songs 10 through 14 of those songs that we wrote. And I'd say this is the most, like, experimental, like, stage of the band, you know, kind of, like, the next set of songs for the next EP, we kind of like settled into a sound more or whatever, but there's a lot of ups and downs and it's cool to have like super aggressive, like super light, super like, you know, different like parts throughout the whole thing. And it was a good, like, because this is like the most different song that I guess we ever like wrote. It's cool to have that as the ending, you know, of the whole EP. Yeah, totally. If you guys haven't caught on yet, uh, EP2 wraps up, Wait in the Water wraps up kind of the same way a back half of an album would in conjunction with the first set of songs. So like, they were almost written together, but we decided to break them up a little bit differently. But it's interesting. I've I've thought it's always interesting how like, it kind of conveniently just wraps up that way, at the end of Wait right. in the Water, it wraps up the same way like a 10 song album would. Right. With kind of like a more melodic, different song mm-hmm. at the very the very end, um, which I, I like. Yeah, there, there are similarities between, in my opinion, you know, Under the Surface and Wait in the Water with just how they start and end kind of thing. So, mm-hmm. and then you throw them together and it, it, it even works like that too. So, like. <laughs> And actually, if you're like a super, <laughs> super, if you're a super nerd and want to be like, ooh, ooh, the final riff on Under the Surface is the beginning riff of Wait in the Water. I was going to say, somebody posted like a theory or something on like how all these connect. Um, oh, yeah. yeah someone, someone's on to us. <laughs> I almost, like, I, I almost like got pissed, dude. And he was like, when I saw that, I was like. Fucking, you don't know me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's talking to me like he knows me. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's no, on good job, someone, man. Someone's on Whoever us. you are. Someone's on to us. He's going to yeah. blow your cover. Yeah, but... It's, it's someone we'll, we'll, leave someone we'll, leave we'll leave that for you all to find. Yeah, we'll leave that for you all to find. Yeah, we'll leave that for you all to leave that for you all to find. He knows that I order pizza. Yeah, what, yeah. what's yeah. next Saturday under night. the surface? <laughs> what's next? Are what you going to wait in the water for the answer? Oh. Real quick, I think forgot some I didn't want to leave out uh shout out to John's brother Matt he helped film 
Uh, yeah, four, the majority of, all, of the videos. Four out of five was... videos. Yeah. Hey, Matt! Yeah, we're back. Matt. Yeah, Matt, Matt, was, Matt was second shooter for most of it, and... The he bowling was, ball. Yeah, so and in, ball. yeah, he did double duty in Worthless. He was the bowling ball and shooting when he wasn't the bowling ball. So, yeah. he really pulled through. And he uh, graciously zipped my bowling ball costume up when I needed it. Your significant hey, other, Julia, for helping yeah. out and hanging out with us. Shouts out to me. And shout out Will Putney yeah. for making Putney. it sound great. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And shout out to us for doing the damn thing. Yeah. Gracie on three. We get a one. We get a one. Gracie. Crazy. One, two. You didn't count us. You didn't count us down. One. We get a one. One, two, three. Yeah. Gracie. 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 John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. Also, one more shout out. I want to shout out to my best friend Jess, who did all the behind the scenes um, footage for us and a lot of the content we wouldn't have been able to post without her. So great help. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. She's Jess. doing merch Jess. for us tomorrow. Thanks, Jess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's this Gracie girl, merch girl. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah. I think that's all we got. Right? I think so. Feels good. I think so. Long I'm night. Pretty good. Got it all done. Yeah, and thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for, for hanging out with us. We'll uh, hopefully catch you guys at a show soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come tip our, we tip you... our caps to you. Yeah, hopefully we'll be coming on tour to a city near that's you. That's a great hat. That's a great hat. Show them that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. www.gracieband.com. Yeah, any Gracie merch, go to gracie.com if you want it. Do Feel it. free. Sick. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank Thanks you. for hanging, guys. Later. Bye. Mm -hmm. right, bye. All right, pull up your pants, get a wide stance so you're nice and like... What, like this? Yeah, like, like that, yeah, that's exact, exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> that's probably dance stance right there, okay, if everybody was messy. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that! Oh, no, you're caught. Oh! Oh! Jesus Can I get a Oh, my God! Oh, my God! The tear down. Oh, you revealed Prince. Prince was hiding behind the curtain. <laughs> no, I had stared at Prince the whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, look, look. You found my stash. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Zoom in, Prince. Does anybody else accidentally. No! <laughs> <laughs> what do you got in that freezer? A body? A body? Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, we got some ultra thin. We got some, oh, we got Ego, Ego waffles. We got some uh, freezer burnt waffles. Yeah. What are these? Oh, mozzi, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. Are these are these fish or chicken? Chicken fries. Chicken fries. Chicken fries. Oh, you got chocolate ones. You got bologna. Yeah. We Frozen we bologna. No, we don't talk. No, you like could that. you could like throw that at someone. It'd be like a brick. Got what some, else we got? got some wings. Oh, wings. wings. Bread. Oh, bread. Oh, got these donkey sticks. Oh, wait, we gotta you, get got, you got some saucy. Get that bread. Got that smoked sausage. A bit, what is that, a ham steak? You see a little ham steak in there? Yeah, ham steak. Yo, I went to Walmart. I got the, the hot rolls. Like wings. <laughs> yeah, but they're like hot ones. Like the, you've seen like the celebrities. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, Dave. Okay, fine. <laughs>
Yeah. More to your left, Trevor.